and milling cutters. You've got the possibility to put taper shank till maximum MK3, as well as cylindrical countersinks up to a diameter of 20 millimeters. For doing that, use the corresponding dividing ring. Change this way. Press the hand wheel fourth till the grid pin locks. Turn the pressure bearing upwards and remove the set screw. Now you can remove the ring. Put in the corresponding dividing ring. Mounting will be done in reversed manner. Carry out the aligning this way. Unlock the grid pin so that the pressure bearing locks inside the corresponding index notch. Now align the milling cutter such a way the cutting edge is in true alignment to the adjusting laser. Lock the milling cutter at this position. The point angle comes to 180 degrees. By opening the clamp lever, it can be adjusted continuously. If angles differ, it is recommended to align the cutting edge directly to the grinding wheel. For grinding the cutting surfaces, lock the swiveling mechanism in hole A. The clearance angle is in a range of 0.5 and 2.0. Before grinding, unlock the grid pin. Grinding happens on the grinding wheel's right-hand side by moving the motor feet forth and back. For grinding each of the following cutting edges, turn on the hand wheel and repeat the procedure using the same adjustments. For grinding the tool flanks, lock the swiveling mechanism in hole B. The clearance angle is in a range of between 0.5 and 2.0. Grinding should be done as mentioned before.